Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Honey, there's a lot going on. And how great is this? Martell always thinking of a master plan. Ariane over here trying to figure out how she can be like Mel, and Mel is moving forward. <laughs> but let's get into it. Shout out to Queen Sheba for these text messages that she's received to help us tell this story. Okay, so this is a text story between Mel and Tasha K. And Tasha's up here saying she wanted Mel's exclusive response to Martel's letter. Mel's like, I don't know what you're talking about, right? I've been fasting and praying with over 200 people. But she was saying her manager had reached out, right? She said, okay, cool. Then she came back January the 4th, 2022. Hey, it's Tasha K. So there's like, hey, happy Tuesday. Then she said, I know you're laughing your butt off, as you should. Martel is upset that now the world knows what he likes. Heads up. Mel said, thank you for the heads up. I was, I'll was, i be looking forward to talking to you in the near future. Now, hold on. When I had gone over here to see this, I did not realize that had been two years ago. This seemed longer to me. So in 2022, this is when we were introduced for real, for real to Ariane Curry. This interview was put together by Martel, right? So when I say that Tasha was straddling the fence between Martel and uh, Mel, let's get into that. So this continued the other text. Like, Mel said, look forward to talking to you in the near future. Tasha's like, best of luck to your endeavors. And then Tasha screenshots and sends Mel the text thread between her and Martel. Now, I can't read this. I got to get my glasses. I'll be right back. So she tells Martel happy birthday. He said, hey, TK, thank you so much. Good way to look out on that interview yesterday it was amazing and she's going to be your co-host speaking of Ariane curry now this is what queen sheba said that tasha k got a little morality about herself she was like now martell you gave this woman that limelight meaning you have put Ariane curry out into the world as your mistress it's not gonna be good for her she said you gotta co-parent for the next 18 years with male right then at the bottom she's talking about Ariane. she's in love with you you should consider settling with the cream of the crop because you know that's what Ariane considers herself to be <laughs> now i don't know if y'all remember this you remember when Mel was having the day of revelation and she laid big ari out right because she had like three videos one of those videos she read the text message between me between her and tasha k Mel read it and when Tasha K did that first initial interview with Ariane Curry there was supposed to be a second interview but that never happened and that is what Tasha was messaging Mel to give her a heads up about also Mel read it in her life so fast forward to this because I talked about this in my hot topics because I was like why is Tasha just not talking about these court proceedings right Mel had filed Martel had filed Mel filed and struck it and then here she comes like last week or early this week with this and then Tasha made this post talking about Mel with Jason and she knows you know how could she be with him after she cried about Martel being with a woman and blah 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 so I was like, this is real crazy. Where on the curb is, Martel is the one that's getting this stuff together, Ariane and uh, Tasha. And when I say Ariane, hold on. So after Tasha's post, Ariane posted and deleted this. This is Jason and his wife. Now, I don't know if Jason is still married. Jason could have pulled his ring off. I don't know. But for whatever reason, Ariane posted this. Like, why would you do that? What would be the reason and the benefit of her posting this? Somebody told her to do that. Now, you can go on over to Queen Sheba's page and listen to all of it because I did a little fast track for myself. Now, this was Martel's filing on 926, right? When he filed, I guess he was talking about Jason or whatever. I don't know. But this was his filing. But this is what's so crazy. So this was Martel's text to Mel October the 3rd. I'm sorry a million times. What does that mean? Is he sorry for the homecoming photo? Is he sorry for the Miguel Wilson? Is he sorry for the Jason's wedding photo and whatever Tasha said? Or is he sorry for something that's coming down the pike? That is the scary part. And I'm gonna say this. For someone who's been through a divorce. If you've had a good one, bless you. But if you haven't, it's like you don't even know the person that you were married to. And I'm speaking from experience. So, 
male has to keep something around her and she should I'm I don't it's a lot. I'm not gonna say she should be worried, but she probably should be worried. Because you don't know what he's thinking about. Because what does this mean? Is there something on the way? Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. It's your girl Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.